Hi everybody, it's Kelly Driver here. Welcome to my art channel. Today I've got a video for you that I have done. It's going to be in two parts, so I'll be doing two intros that look very similar to each other. Uh, part one, this video, is the um, another painting in my gold room series. So if you have a look back to painting number one in this collection, I have been inspired by Marie Antoinette's private chambers in Versailles and she has a or had a gold room and I pulled the colors out looking at a photograph I pulled out all the colors that I thought um, looked like the photograph and I have been to Versailles but I was like 19 and um, I'm not 19 anymore <laughs> So I don't even know if I've actually been in that room at Versailles. But anyway, I'm kind of obsessed with watching people uh, renovating French chateaus on YouTube. I have a few favorite channels that I've mentioned in video number one. And uh, anyway, I really enjoyed the colors that I did in painting number one. And now I've got a second painting. I've actually done another one since then that I've got coming up for you. So, so far there are three in the collection. But anyway, this painting is going to be on a round timber board and um, it's using the same beautiful colours that I used in my original gold room painting. So it's got um, uh, turquoise green and gold are the two main colors in the room then i've got some pops of blues and magentas and things like that in there and some brown and uh, i'll show you a um, photograph in this intro of what the gold room in versailles looks like and uh, this is another interpretation just using the colors from from this and where i'm going to create a dutch bloom for you today so um Let's, uh, I'll take you down and show you the video for this one. And um, then I will explain to you in my next video why there are two parts to this painting, recording, creation. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, hi everyone, here I am. Let's go. So we're going to do a Dutch bloom using the colors of Marie Antoinette's gold room in her private chambers. We're starting with a white base. This is the first time I've used my um, um, spinning, spinning thing from, um, that I bought from Erica Hughes. I haven't done a Dutch bloom in absolutely ages. I've actually forgotten. I know I need lots of paint, obviously, but I can't remember whether I, I might just spin it out a little bit now. to start with the um, the special color in the room which is uh, turquoise green and as you will remember from my last video and from the photo I'm showing you in there that I showed you in the intro that um, that was the color of the upholstery and of the curtains in the room I'm just doing it based on a colour order this time. So that's gold ochre. I don't want a lot of this colour. This is Van Dyke Brown, but I don't want a lot. I think that'll do. Um, I don't want too much of that one. And we've got some bronze.
We've got warm grey. lucky I had Persian rose out but I want light rose not Persian rose and we've got um, the oh naughty little bubble this is manganese blue such a pretty blue oh so pretty. I'm going to put another um, turquoise green in there. Then I'm going to put light gold. And I'm going to surround my um, puddle with deep gold. Torch out the bubbles. Well, that was quite funny. I just lost my um, blow dryer. I couldn't remember where I put it. I've been doing wrecked pours and I've moved my blow dryer to a special location. go far in my house though it's very small so it was in the laundry cupboard <laughs> okay now I think I will do um, five because this is a bigger I think this might be 50 centimeter is it 50 or that's probably a ruler yeah it's a 50 centimeter I think I might do five petals on there so I'll do that now. Okay, that is very pretty. That's really pretty. And I might just bring it back into the center. Oh, that center bit doesn't want to move actually. Um, when I move, when I try to tilt it then, maybe I won't do that. But I might give a little bit more definition to my petals uh, there. Um, with Trying to work out whether to do it with my finger. Not a lot, just a little bit. This one here needs it. This one's pretty good. All right, that's pretty good. I wish my gold was in the middle. Why is it doing that? It's not moving. Looks like it's gonna be an off-center bloom. <laughs> 
Never mind, that's okay. It's still beautiful. All right, so I will, I think I've got plenty of paint on there. So I think it's time to spin. Let's cross our fingers. Ah! And we'll give it a spin and see how everything looks. And we'll go back the other way. spins very easily. I'll spin it back home. So we need to get it off the edge over here. Because it's having a bit of trouble spinning off there, I might just get a bit more white paint on this bit here just to help it uh, move. Yeah. We definitely need to tidy up um, these petals, but um, this is looking very beautiful. I really like the colours. trying to work out um, what to do with this area here it's um gone a little bit funny over i think i took the wrong this is all one petal that's spanned outwards and um, i'm not sure how to break it up just trying to work out best way to do it. So I'm not sure about this bit just here. 
but it's actually in the middle of a petal. So if I, I don't, I think I need to leave that part. Okay, um, still undecided about that bit there. I'm just going to take off a bit. I'm just going to round that off there, I think. I think that's what I'll do. I'm just going to take not all of it, but just part of it off to kind of form a... petal shape. And maybe what I'll do so that it gets a bit more definition. So I'm just going to drag a little bit up there. Um, I'm just get a make it kind of look like it was always. That's good. That's good. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. I think I've got it. I think I got it figured it out. What do you think of the colours? Have I got enough of my turquoise green? I think the blue, the blue is pretty awesome. That manganese blue is really cool. I love that colour. I really like it a lot. Okay, I'm very happy with this. I think it's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to have to have a high gloss varnish on it, like the other one. Um, like my other, my wrecked paw for the gold groom has and any little bits like here where it's not pure white, uh, I can um, fix that up um, when it's dry. Just found a little um, ball patch there, it's not enough paint there. I love those little speckles that come out. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's like little freckles. That's great. So happy. Okay. Um, let's see how it dries. Woo! <laughs> I'll see you um, back in a second. I'll show you the painting now. This is it. So, uh, hang on. 
this is it. <laughs> and um, I, there are a couple of things. First of all, I forgot to add magenta into the painting. And um, so that was one thing that I'm missing one color. And then the other thing is, is that I'm just not happy with the shape of my petals. And I just kept walking past it going, something's not right in the composition and um, I love it, but something's just a bit off. And um, then I realized that I'd forgotten the magenta. Um, and also I still just wasn't quite happy with it. So um, I've decided the first thing I'm going to do is to minimize the size of this petal here. I'm going to paint more white in this area. And then I'm also going to do some other abstract um, works on this. I have a feeling I'm going to get out one of my beautiful stencils. I love using stencils. Um, I just find them to be so much fun and I can do so many different things using these beautiful stencils. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get one of those out, but I'm definitely going to block out that area to fix the size of my petals. Part two of um, this painting is going to be a real expression of um, going away from the traditional Dutch bloom that Rinske Downer created and um, putting my own spin on it, using my own methods and doing whatever I feel like doing. And I'm not even sure right now what you're going to get, <laughs> but I know that I'm going to make something that is um, an enhancement of what I've just shown you and we're gonna make it even better. I have no doubt about it because something's not right with the painting at the moment. So let's see how this journey unfolds.